Good morning, guys. This is Monte, your local neighborhood home dealer. Out here in San Diego, just coming here to spread the good news, get a little devotion going for this morning, guys. I just want to say, I just want to give a little recap on, on my life just so if there's any new listeners, they could just understand the power in my testimony. It will just be really quick and then we'll pray, all right? For me, guys, I started off as I played professional baseball. I played for 10 years. About six years into my baseball career, I got on a medication called Adderall. Adderall changed my whole entire life for the bad, okay? It disguised itself as heaven and it took me straight to hell, guys. I ended up my career playing in Canada and I had lost everything. I was playing in Canada now and I had lost everything and I was not on my way to the big leagues anymore. I was now chasing Adderall and amphetamine for the next 10 years. I get out of baseball, all right? I couldn't get my prescriptions filled. I couldn't have a doctor. I had no insurance, so I went to methamphetamine, all right, guys? This took me to a deeper hole. I then, at the end of my addiction, I was now uh, using methamphetamine and heroin, putting a needle in my arm, and I had now became a cri criminal, isolating from everybody, going from garage to garage, and I had fell to an all-time low, guys. I got arrested with a felony at 37. I went to jail for three months and then got sentenced to the Salvation Army. When I went to jail, I was able to change changed my entire life with a mustard seed, guys, with an absolute mustard seed. I was able to change my life with gratitude, and then I saw God's unfailing love and consistency and his mercy and his grace and his solid foundation that never lies and never tempts, and I decided to follow the Lord for the last 1,012 days, guys. I've turned my whole life around. I love to spread the good news. This is now my purpose. So whatever's going on in my day, this is what I live for, to spread the good news to whoever wants to listen. I do this all day long to anyone that wants to talk to me, anyone that wants Wants to hear it, but I do it off of tra attraction, not promotion, guys. I want somebody to see the light shine through me, and then I'm able to open up and be able to talk about my faith, guys. I just try to have joy every day, and I'm thankful to be alive. And that's the short story of my story. You know what I'm saying? I just want for all the new listeners to know uh, where my background is and where I'm coming from, and that this is straight from God, and there's nothing that can explain what has happened in my life but the Lord Almighty and Jesus Christ. I love Him with my whole heart, and I will continue to walk with Him, all right, guys? Well, let's bow our heads in prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, so much for everything that you do. You are the mighty physician. You are the mighty Alpha Omega, baby. Now, please continue to walk, uh, work on Big Mike's lungs. Continue to have them have an unbelievable story as he walks out of that hospital and he walks into his arms of Julie and his family and his kids and his grandkids and everybody, Father. Please continue to do this, Father. Continue to allow my buddy Patrick to continue to walk in the light and, and cling to you with the solid foundation. Continue to have my friend up in the uh, in the high desert. She's going through a little bit of a health scare. Allow her to get back moving and grooving with you, Father, and get back to her family. Now, allow me to thank you, Father, for all that you've done for a solid foundation that never lies and never tempts. I can now see the fiery arrows that come at me, the flaming arrows, and I'm able to avoid them at all costs, Father. As I seek, seek, seek you and not chase, chase, chase drugs, I continue to change my life around one minute at a time, one second at a time. I continue to stay focused on you. I surrender to you every chance that I can because I cling to you because you saved my life, Father. I love you for this. I love the Salvation Army for letting me spread the good news there. I relate with every man there, and I want to be able to spread hope right there and be and so they can see that someone that went through that program has come back and given back hope to these men father I love you with my whole heart. Please continue to work in my life as you work in others' lives, as you fill my cup and I overflow it to others, Father, as I continue to walk in the light with the Spirit, which is the most powerful thing I've ever heard, Father. I love you because you give us time after time and chance after chance to choose you, and you are the solid foundation that will never change, and you will never walk away, and you will always be the same now, today, tomorrow, and a year from now, and, and when I'm going to die, you will always be the same, Father, and I love you for that, Father, and I thank you, Lord, and I will continue to walk with you in the light with the Spirit, because that's what I want to do. I want to save lives one life at a time as we continue to live here one day at a time. We love you with all our heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Woo, woo. I love to pray, guys. Okay? I love to pray. I love to pray. It keeps me focused on what I got to do today. Okay, I want to talk about the solid foundation of the rock, man. Are we as human beings, we yearn for a foundation that will not leave us, forsake us, or lie to us, or tempt us. We need this in our lives, guys. We need this in our lives. Before I came to God, everything I put in first for this yearning, this yearning uh, feeling that I have to be in a relationship with something, we want to be loved. We want to be cared for. Every single thing walked away or left it just it's just unreal there's nothing permanent on this planet worldly they will all 
fall apart. It's just the way it is. If you put God first, if you put God first and then money second, then you can enjoy your money. You're going to do good things with your money. You're going to do positive things with your money. If you put God first and then love your social media, you're going to have a positive social media. I can't believe how my social media is so positive now when it used to be so negative, guys. If you put God first and then your relationship will be amazing and it will be awesome and you'll have a strong foundation of the Lord. Do you guys understand this now? If you put your relationship over God, it's destined to fail. If you put your money over God, it's destined to fail. If you put your social media over God's principles and purpose, it's destined to fail. That's the point, guys. We yearn for a direct relationship with someone. We're made in the image of God, so God wants us to have a relationship with us. He sent the Lord. He sent Jesus down because the only thing that ruled the world before Jesus was religion. So we always felt like we weren't good enough to have a direct relationship with God. We always felt condemned and shamed. God, Jesus comes down, dies on the cross for our sins, and now we have a direct path to God, to the Lord. And it's absolutely amazing. And it's a relationship, guys. It's not a religion, guys. So when I got, when I got arrested at 37 years old, guys, at 37 years old, I was able to find, get, I got really, really, uh, I got hooked on the fact that God doesn't change, that the Bible's going to stay the same, that his love's going to stay the same. And everything that he teaches you is going to be the same now, tomorrow, if, 30 years from now, everything's going to be the same. So then I realized that, hey, when we do good, we feel good. And we do bad, we feel bad. So then I realized like, wow, following God and being right with the Lord. I read Ecclesiastics and King Solomon says that the only way you're really happy on this planet is when you're right with God and you're walking with him. And I feel that I, I, I'm now walking with God. I'm right with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? I have a clean spirit. And I feel now that since I have a clean spirit, because I do my moral inventory every night, guys, I try to keep my street clean. I try to apologize when I'm in the wrong. I try to do these things to keep my street clean. So I'm able to be, a, 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 I'm able, able to be a fulfilled vessel that's able to be used by God, a clean vessel that's able to be used by God. And I feel like now I'm spreading the good news and I'm not a fake. You know what I'm saying? I'm not living in the dark. I'm now living in the light. And now I'm qualified to spread the good news. With a solid foundation that will never leave, never lie, never forsake, never tempt. And I'm just super happy for that. I will continue to walk with the Lord because 37 years, everything I put first over the Lord, they all failed. Every single thing failed. Not one thing made it through the test of time. But now, 1,012 days, I put the Lord first. I scream it from the mountaintops and he's blessed me abundantly. Not from, all the, not from always having outside things, but having the inside fulfilled, guys. And you always want to have something in your corner that's a solid foundation that will always have your back. And that's God. And that's what I learned. And that's what I now cling to, guys. All right? That's what I cling to. I just wanted to speak on today about how God never changes. And he's a solid foundation. And when I finally grasped that, I was able to change my whole entire life, guys. All right? I'm going to read right here from... Uh, <clears throat> from uh, my Jesus always, all right? And then we'll get the day moving and grooving, guys. It's Tuesday. Let's have a good day today, all right? I am creating something new in you, a bubbling spring of joy that spills over into others' lives. This is where you become the blessing, and now when everybody sees you, they're enjoying, they enjoy seeing you because now you're, you're overfilling with the, with the Lord. You're walking in the light with the Spirit, and now you're, you're, you're overfilling with your cup, and now you're giving hope to other human beings, dude. It's awesome. Do not mistake this joy of your own or try to take credit for it in any way. Remember, the joy is coming from the Lord. That's what keeps us dependent on God, all right? This isn't something that we've created created ourselves. This joy is from God. And now we stay connected with him because we know that's where the pipeline of joy is from. Instead, watch in the light as my spirit flows through you to bless others. Let yourself become a reservoir of the spirit's fruit. Your part is to live close to me, open to all that I am doing in you. Don't try to control the, str the, uh, the streaming of my spirit through you. Just keep focusing on me as we walk through this day together. Enjoy my presence, which permits you with love, joy, and peace. I love those words. Love, joy, and peace. Unbelievable fruits of the spirit. John 3, 8, Proverbs 4, 11, 12, and Galatians 5, 
522, guys. Now, that's what I'm talking about, guys. We're going to let the Lord come into our lives, and now we're going to overflow, and we're going to be able to change other lives. And that's the biggest gift, guys. We're walking right with the Lord. We have the foundation now that, that, can, that can stand any storm, all right? Any storm, we can cling to God. For me, where I was in my life, where I went, and how the Lord saved me, I will cling to God. I love the Lord. I love Jesus so much because now I have this direct relationship that I'm able to talk to God every day and it makes me feel joy that I am ecstatic and I have to shout it from the rooftops and the mountaintops and the building tops and whatever tops you want to shout it from, I'm going to shout it from because I love God and God loves me and I love God and I love people and I want to share the good news of my story of redemption because I don't I can't explain what's happened in my life unless I put God there and then the, my whole life makes sense. Every little nuke and cranny makes sense in my life, guys. Let's have a great Tuesday. I love you guys. Let's have some motivation today, baby. Let's move and groove in a real way with the Lord and let's have a good day just for today because always this moment today right now matters, baby. Let's have a good day.